When an animal comes in hurt, injured or orphaned, I think we all feel a little bit of that animal's pain and so we're giving of our resources to help however we can. These are like my children. I just love these guys and feel responsible. My dad and I were recently able to release a snowy owl patient from the Wildlife Haven Centre. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for us because we're both wildlife enthusiasts and uh, we've never been able to share an experience like that before, so it was a once in a lifetime experience for us. Three, two, one. The observers who are watching the release are sort of feeling the same freedom that the animal is feeling as it's released back to its wild state. There was a woman in the crowd who was crying and I said, What's wrong? That's the most powerful thing I have ever seen, to watch these birds leave and fly away. It's beautiful, and there's no thank yous from these creatures. They just take off, they never look back, and for me, that's thanks enough to be able to know that they can do what they need to do. Wildlife Haven is a volunteer-driven organization that rescues injured and orphaned wildlife from all over Manitoba. We have a space of over a million kilometers that we get wildlife from, but we only have one full-time position, one full-time person, and we have 90 volunteers who generously give their time to help care for all the 1,300 to 1,700 animals that come through our door every year. We rely on donations and the work from all of our volunteers to keep the organization running fluidly. We are not government funded. We need funding from the generosity of our supporters. The Wildlife Haven has been looking for a permanent home for virtually its entire existence. Our temporary location, which is a decommissioned dairy barn, isn't working anymore and we need help building a facility that will manage all of our patients. We have started building our future home and we do need funding to finish the project. Once it's completed, it will be a state-of-the-art facility to take the best care we can of injured, orphan and sick wildlife. R2 had a rough start in his life, but he and I went to visit the new site, and as soon as I took him out of his carrier box, he gave the red tail cry, so he knew. This is my spot. Help build this dream and make the Wildlife Haven's new facility the best that it can be.